I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to Episode 5 of Season 2 of my Mac Pro Series. This episode will be a continuation of Episodes 24 through 28 and Episode 30 of last season, where I explained to you about GPU setup and usage in your Mac Pro. Now, if you haven't seen those videos and would like to, you can start with Episode 24 by clicking this link right up here. Anyway... So let's get to the point of today's video where I am going to explain to you why it can be a much better idea and a much more cost-efficient idea to use a PC card like this with a flash EFI card like this right here and it will save you a lot of money. Now the reason why you should use these if you can of course it's just going to save you money. This right here is a PC card. This is a GTX 960. Now, on Mac vid cards, um, to buy a flashed one, for instance, from them, it's going to cost probably around $200 more than just buying this new. In fact, right now, I think it's even worth more than just buying this used on eBay. It's, it's, it's bad. Now, the only reason why you'd want to use a flashed custom PC card and spend the extra money is if in case you need to use all the slots in your Mac Pro for expansion. If not, it's a better idea to get one of these or use your original card if it's a single slot card because it's only taking up one slot and it's going to help you have boot screens and whatnot and make everything a lot more easy to do. Now, for instance, this right here is a ATI Radon HD 2600 XT that was in the Mac Pro 3.1 originally. This is the best card, if you don't have a card, to buy because this card will work in all Mac Pros from 1.1 through 5.1. In fact, this is such a good card and it's probably the most affordable. If you could if you would go with a GT120, for instance, it will work in all Mac Pros from the 3.1 through 5.1, but will not work in the 1.1 and 2.1 because of the EFI flashing on it. It's for 64-bit only. If you get one of these, on the other hand, this has the universal 32 and 64 still in it, so it will work in, most, in both Macs the 32-bit EFI and the 64-bit EFI Max. Anyway, so getting back to the point, this will be a lot cheaper to go do this option right here. And I will be showing you an example on my computer. Anyway, so let's head over to the computer and I'll explain to you the prices on Mac vid cards and compare them to what you could get on, for instance, Newegg. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so before we begin, I'd like to explain to you how the flashing on a card works and why MacVid cards charges almost $200, if not more, maybe a little less, for this purpose. Now, with a video card, for instance, a PC video card, we have usually now two t different types of flash on it, which allows you to see the boot up screens and also even Windows in some cases. Basically you have on the new card a BIOS flash for legacy PCs and a UEFI flash for newer PCs like the Windows 8 era on. So this flashing just allows you to see the boot up and also allows you to see Windows because it's basically the base code to allow the card to run. Um, basically, the differences between a PC card and a Mac card is, for instance, the PC card has the UEFI and the BIOS flash. Earlier cards just had the BIOS, and because earlier cards just have the BIOS flash, and you won't be able to see the UEFI boot up, but you can still see Windows because it's still got the underlying code to display the video. Now, with an EFI card, aka a Mac card, we have two flashes on it. The flash for the Mac or the EFI, and the flash for a PC 
or the BIOS. This also allows you, the BIOS part, allows you to do the boot camp, boot up and stuff and see all that load up because it still has the basic BIOS in the boot emulation. So anyway, getting past all that, with an EFI flash, a custom flash for instance, a Mac card usually has a bigger ROM chip, at least they did in the past because of this. Now it's about the same. There's not really a hardware difference because PC cards also have two types of BIOS slash UEFI in them. So it's not as big of a deal. The thing is newer cards are harder to flash. Mac vid cards has a special BIOS that they flash themselves. They create their own files and stuff based off of Mac cards from the past. For instance, the I believe it's a 7950 has a EFI flash on it that they base the flash on AMD cards with. So they have to basically break down the original code and then apply it to a new EFI flash. Now with NVIDIA cards they're a lot more difficult because NVIDIA cards haven't been supported in Macs really since the 600 series. The 680 was the last custom Mac card and the underlying code of that is also put into the newest cards. And because of all this we start having those problems because you need those web drivers to show newer cards. So anyway, because they have to write their own flash that's the reason why it's so expensive. And if you would buy an older card from them, which they don't really sell anymore, but if you would, they also have to modify the card so it will work with both the boot camp and Mac boot up screens. So that's why they charge so much. Also with NVIDIA cards, uh, the newer ones, when, uh, when you update the OS with a new security update or a new build, the NVIDIA web drivers disable until you update them. This could be a problem because of how the card works. When the graphics are enabled you get a black screen if you're only using one screen just like on a PC card. The problem is with the NVIDIA graphics with the black screen you'd have to switch back to your original card to update the drivers. At least that's how you'd have to do it on a PC card. With the Mac vid cards card, since it's still got the EFI flash on it, you can go into um, single user mode to enable EFI graphics mode and then you can go in, update the driver, and then disable EFI graphics mode to get back into your original driver that you just installed. So that's the only major advantage of having the card. If you are interested in how that works. In episode 28 I explained to you how to go into EFI graphics mode. It's quite uh, simple and as long as you follow that video it's it's very easy to understand. Okay so let's talk about the prices now. As we can see here we're on MacVidCards.com's website. All these prices we talk about will be based off of June 22nd, 2017. These are the current prices as we speak right now. As we can see here, for $900 you can get a 1080 Ti flashed by Mac vid cards. But if we go over to Newegg, as you can see here, it's actually $699, which is $200 cheaper. And now you understand the differences between a PC card and a flash card. Here's another example from Mac vid cards. We have a 1070 for $650. But on Newegg, a actually better PC card, a GeForce FTW from EVGA, is only $479.99. So that explains to you that these cards Although the Mac vid cards sometimes aren't just reference like this, the Founders Edition here, but this gives you an idea of what exactly the price difference is and why you can save a lot of money having two cards. 
So, basically, that's the end of this video, and thank you for watching. In the next video, I know I said that I'd start on the 3 comma 1, but I thought I'd make one more video, which will be up in the next day or two, I hope, um, explaining to you why you should flash a 4 comma 1 to a 5 comma 1, and how the hardware is different, yet the same. And in the next video, we will be showing you that. Anyway, once again, that is the end of the video, and thank you for watching. This has been a Rutk Mods video. What episode am I on? Episode 4? 5? Episode 5? Oh, I have to look it up. I don't have anything to look it up with. Shall we wing it? What episode is it? Uh, hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 5 of season 2 of my Mac Pro series. In this has Hello, I'm Greg Rutke I can't even say my own name. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke I can't say my name. Hello, I'm Greg Ha. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Ha Ha. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 5 of the Ha 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 I'm going blind looking at this light. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke Ha Ha. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke Ha 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 Ha. Silly. Mm. Hello, I'm Insert Audio here, and I just can't say my own name today. Anyway, welcome to... No. <laughs> How hard is it to say Greg Rutke? Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 5 of... Hello, I'm Greg Gretke. Factory or flashed EFI card like this, especially the single clip. Hello, I'm Greg Greck. I can't see my name again! Hello, I'm Greg Greck. Hello, I'm Greg <laughs> Hello, I'm Greg Rutke. Ha <laughs> ha. Why can't I say my own name? Idea to use a PC card with a factory Mac card. I I just can't talk. Two of my Mac Pro series. This episode is going to be a continuations of a uh, continuations. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to welcome to use a PC card with a video card from a normal uh, what the hell and those videos if you haven't already you can click this link right up here I just hit these cards together and it screwed up the audio hello I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods and welcome to season 5 of my episode 2 Right here we have my, um, I don't remember the card name. <laughs> I'm going crazy right now. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I have to laugh about it. Okay. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to... I'm losing my voice just recording the same thing over and over again. Hello, I'm... I really am losing <coughs> my voice. <coughs> Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to Episode 5 of my Season 2 of Throw a M Mama. Rutke Mods, and welcome to... Ha Ha!
Oh, the battery on everything's already dead before I'm done with this. Okay. Take 2000. In this episode, we will be continuing episodes. <gasps> this episode will be a continuation of episodes 24 through 28, plus episode thurs Thursday, plus episode 30 of last season. If you haven't seen those videos, I didn't even explain to you what those videos were, of course, but you know. I can't film this one video. It's getting old. 24 through 28, and episode 30. 30. 30 is an okay idea, in my opinion at least, is because... No! <laughs> Hello, I'm Greg Rodke, Rodke Mods, and welcome to episode 24 of my what? You can start with episode 24 by clicking up the link right here. Situation of episodes 24 through 28 and season 30. And season 30? taken almost an hour to film this. Now this episode, wah, and you can watch it there. Anyway, so in this video we will be a... <laughs> oh, it's been over an hour. Hello, I'm Greg Rodkay of Rodkay Mods, and welcome to episode 5 of, I forgot the number for a second there, to use a PC video card with a, I'm holding it backwards. This episode will be a continuation of 24 through, Hello, I'm Greg Rodkay of Rodkay Mods, and welcome to episode 2 of my season 5. I did it again, every card, especially a single slot. For instance, this is a 24. This is a 24? Hello, I'm Greg Rodkay of Rodkay Mods, and welcome to Episode 5 of Season 2 of my Mac Pro series. This episode will be a continuation of 24. Of 24? Hello, I'm Greg Rodkay of Rodkay Mods, and welcome to Episode 2 of my... Episode 5 of Season 2 of my Mac Pro series, where I am going to explain to you why I'm not saying this properly. Yeah, me. I'm not saying it properly. <laughs> on Mac vid cards and compare them to what you could get on, for instance, Newegg. Anyway, let's go. I'm done. I'm done. I am so done. I can't stop it.